All right, hello boys and girls. I have a surprise for you today. I get to do spot and dot this week and probably every week for a little while. So we're gonna figure it out together because I know even I have a little bit of trouble with these sometimes. So these are our words for this week, the first four, and it's arachnid, ballooning, weave, and insects. And I know we talked about these today in the Google Live meeting. So the first thing that we have to do is write the date, okay? So it is 10, and today is the 5th, October 5th, and 2020, okay? And now I know we're gonna skip a line, and then we're gonna write our title, spot, and dot. And I'm going to give that a little underline. Okay? Now I know that we skip another line and we're going to write words, syllables, and sounds. Okay? We're going to run the underline under that and we're going to run our line all the way down our page and then I'm going to skip another line and write number one on the left side of my red line okay so I'm going to look over here and I see our first word is arachnid okay make sure I got plenty of space and now the first thing that we're going to do is spot the vowels and dot the vowels. So I see I've got here, here, and here. So I'm gonna go ahead and you're gonna do this with a red, blue, or yellow crayon. And I know sometimes you guys forget, but we're looking to make sure that you're spotting and dotting, okay? So we are checking to make sure that you guys are doing all the steps because that's actually one of the most important, okay? So, the next thing we're gonna do is figure out how many syllables are in this word, okay? So I want you to clap with me, because this is good practice. Arachnid. So I counted three, okay? So I'm gonna go over here to syllables, and I'm gonna write three. Now boys and girls, another step. I know it's really easy to forget when you're rushing through and you're excited, you're trying to figure it out, but when we have more than one syllable, we have to remember to come over here and split our word, okay? So I know, and I, it's because I watch Miss Stuber's videos and I watch her teach, that I'm gonna put my finger under the first two vowels and I'm gonna split right here, okay? So up, and then I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna say, well, you can do it here too. And remember, that CH works together, so that's not ch here, it's k, 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 a, r, k, n, i. So I'm actually gonna split here because I know that those two are working together. And now we're gonna figure out the sounds, and I know this is always really tricky for me. So, this one's kinda easy, we know it's just one. And then we're gonna come here to rack. Er, a, k. I counted three sounds there. And then we're gonna come over here. N, e, d. N, e, d. Three. So that's three plus three, three, four, five, six, plus one is seven. So I'm gonna come on the same line and I'm gonna write my seven. And just to double check, we're gonna say it. A, er, a, k, n, e, d. Seven, so it checks out. So good job, guys. All right, now we're gonna do one more together. I'm gonna skip a line and I'm gonna write number two. And this one is ballooning. And I already see a couple exciting things about this one. This one's really tricky, which is fun. Balloon. Okay, so let's go ahead and spot and dot our vowels first. I see I've got an A here. Go ahead and do that one. And I see here.
here I've got two O's, and we know that that's making that ooh sound. So we know that that's one dot because they work together. I'm gonna go ahead and write those. And then I see we've got one more in here. Now, boys and girls, I know we've talked a little bit about it, but if we were to take ing off of this word, we would have balloon, right? So I know that ing is a suffix, and what Miss Stuber does when she finds a suffix is she circles it. So you can add a circle there, and that's gonna help us in a little bit. And then another thing I just want you to pay attention to is we have a double consonant, right? So we have two L's working together. So first let's figure out the syllables and then we're gonna start figuring out all the sounds. So, ballooning. I counted three. Okay, so we're gonna write down our syllables. And now, remember when we have more than one syllable, we have to do what we did here and break apart the word. So, I know I've got my two vowels and that I have to do it, but I also know that there's an extra rule when we have a double consonant. I'm actually gonna split it in between the double consonant. And then I also know that when I have a suffix, ba, loon, ing, I'm actually gonna split it right there. So that really helped us, huh? So now we have to figure out our sounds. And one more tricky thing to keep in mind. When you have the double consonant, we only count the sound one time. And I know this can be really confusing. So what I like to do is I count it the second time. So I kind of just ignore the L here and I'll look at it here. So we've got B, A, uh, two. And now we're gonna look at the L. U, un, n, three. And now here, here's another tricky, this is the trickiest word ever. So we've got I, we know we've got that, but boys and girls, the NG sound, if you say it, ing, the NG work together and they make an ing sound. I know it sound, it feels silly when you say it. So this is gonna be I, ing. So we're gonna have two sounds there. And if we add them together, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven sounds again. And just to double check, Let's go through and do it one more time. B, A, uh, U, U, N, I, N, G. Seven. Okay? So, for homework tonight, I want you guys to skip a line. You're going to write number three. And you're going to put weave. You're going to skip a line. Put number four, insects. All right? And I want you guys to do all four words tonight, okay? All right, good luck.